Hello people of Mzanzi, my name is Chad and this is Yummy, the coolest, most epic cooking competition for SA's young foodies, where each week, two teams of two aspiring cheflets compete to win the prize and be crowned Yummy Champions. Now today, joining me in the Yummy Kitchen, I've got the Golden Chefs on my right hand side and on my left hand side, I've got the Flame Queens. Cheflets, hello, how are you? Ah, uh, no, guys, how are we? <laughs> there we go, energy. So, Golden Shifts, tell me a little about yourself. Who are you? I'm Samila. Okay, and you are? I'm the Hidarjahis. Okay, perfect. Now, tell me, Flame Queens, how are we today? Good, and you? No, I'm good. So, tell me your names and age, that kind of thing. Where are we from? I'm Amira. Okay. And I'm 13 years old. I live in Bridgetown. Okay, and you are? I'm Zoe, I'm 13 and I live in Athens. Now, Cheflets, before we can start, I just want to explain to you how the competition works. So basically, it's broken down into three rounds. The first two are food knowledge rounds where you can win brownie points. Now, these brownie points will then help you in the final round, which is the cook-off. Now, during this cook-off, you've got to come up with one amazing meal using our secret ingredient, which I can only reveal to you a little later on. But let me explain to you the prizes that we win for the first two rounds. So now round one, food knowledge round, you walk away with extra time. Then for prize two, we've got the magic key. So this magic key will unlock this big boot cupboard. And inside, we have got none other than the amazing and talented Chef Aisha Suleiman. Hi. 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 How are you guys? Fine. That's good. Now, Chef Lutz, mm. you've got to remember that you can only use Chef Aisha once, so you've got to choose that point very carefully. Aisha, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to send you back, back unfortunately. Home. Cheers, and good luck, and see you guys later. We'll yeah. see you a little later. Cheers, and thank bye. you, Chef. Now that I've explained everything, I think it's time that we start off with our game. So please come and join me. Take your spots. I'm going to give you your spatulas. Yellow for our golden chefs. And flames going to be red. Question one. When a recipe calls for a cup of something, how much is it in milliliters? 250 milliliters. So what you've got to do is you've got to lift up your spatula first. So because you didn't do that, I'm going to have to go over to the Flame Queens who did lift up the spatula. And the answer is? Correct. So that is point one for you. We've got two more questions. Right. Question two. What is the popular food used to carve scary faced lanterns during Halloween? Yes. Pumpkins. Pumpkins it is. Question number three. What do we call the piece of equipment used in the kitchen to drain items? Red? Strain. I'm going to need the actual word for a it. colander. Ah, my boy. Well done. Now, because they've got two points in this round, extra time is awarded to my flame queens. Well done. Question one. True or false, samp is made from dried and broken maize kernels. Still. My guy, well done. It is true. <laughs> you were so nervous there, it's funny. Okay, question number two. Meat from cows is known as what? Ooh. Yes, Flame Queens. Beef. Beef, that is correct. Well done. Question number three. True or false? Pineapples contain an enzyme that breaks down protein, making it a perfect meat tenderizer. I'll repeat it again for you. Oh, silly. yes. But Golden Chef is so confident, he's like, no, don't repeat it again. I know the answer. True. <laughs> and true it is. Well done. So, our Golden Chefs get to work wow. with the lovely Chef Aisha. Now, today's secret ingredient is none other than the humble sticky course. So, now that you've seen the secret ingredient, I need you to decide on a recipe, gather your ingredients, and don't you go anywhere because we will be right back straight after this.
Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that in the ad break you've gotten yourself a snack and that you are comfortable on that couch because it's about to get hot and happening in this kitchen. Let me just give you a quick recap if you've just joined us. I've got the Golden Chefs who has won the Magic Key. And then I've got the Flame Queens who has won the Extra Time. You haven't missed out too much because the cooking is about to start. Right, my Golden Chefs. So tell me what is our recipe for today? Okay, I'm going to make Chicken fillet. Okay. With mandarin sauce. I like sauce. the way you said it. Chicken fillet. Chicken fillet with yeah. mandarin sauce. The mandarin sauce. And her butter. Guys, these things are so fancy. I can't. So, who decided on this recipe? Me. I'm gonna check up on my flame queens on this side. Flame queens! So, I just wanna say to our viewers out there that they did this little handshake before <laughs> they got the ingredients. Um, so I want them to do it for us. Ladies? Ah, come on, I was gonna do this at the end. <laughs> so Flame Queens, what are we making? We're making pasta and chicken with mushroom and cheese sauce. <laughs> and who came up with the recipe? Oh, both of us, because I like pasta and she likes chicken. So ladies, you've won obviously our extra time, so you get to start five minutes before the other. And Chef Litz, you've got to remember that we've got an hour to do this. Flame Queens, are we ready? Yes. Are we sure? I just want to see hands up first. Everyone put up their hands. Are they clean? Are we sure? Right, Flame Queens, ready, steady, make it yummy. Go. Flame Queens, talk me through what we are doing. You are putting the pasta into the pot. Okay, so we're not going to let that water come up or switch the flame on. We just want to put the pasta in, just as is. Okay, so once the pasta's in, what happens next? Then we're going to start cutting um, the chicken into strips. Okay, so we're going to do strips for this one. And have we put salt into the water? No. Good question. We're not going to put salt in the water. There we go. So, are any of you, like, bakers? No, no, cooking, is but that I've it? been watching my grandmother bake cakes. Oh, is it? Yeah. And do you help her a lot? Well, not actually, I just like eat the icing. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> so we're doing strips, eh? Yes. So you've got to remember that if you're boiling pasta at home, to always salt your water first, bring the water up to temperature so that it's boiling, and then add in your pasta. What's the spice that's going on the chicken? Portuguese chicken. Portuguese mm. chicken spice. Ooh, so liquor. <laughs> huh? Don't burn yourself, please. I like that. Mira, Hello, mira, don't mira. burn yourself. So I assume that's just no more oil, hey? No. Okay, no more cooking oil. Right, Flame Queens? So your time is basically up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count in our golden chefs and then this competition is really on. Cool, ready? Yeah. Golden chefs, ready? Steady, make it yummy, and go. So what are we starting with first? I'm gonna make some mash. You're gonna make a mash? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Yes. So talk to me, Rida. What are we doing? Okay, I'm just putting this one side mm -hmm. so that she can cut that up for me. Okay. I'm going to begin with the mandarin sauce. Okay. No, so you just carry on. I'm, I'll yeah. just ask you questions as you go. So did I've got to say that you? So you seem like the head chef here. Yeah. Yep. Am I right in saying that? Yes. Okay. Let me say that. Okay. So add a little bit of fish oil. And once again, that's just normal cooking oil, eh? Just normal cooking okay. oil. Okay. Yes. Okay, what did I? While you carry on with your sauce, I'm gonna see because flame queens look like they're doing some big things on that side. So I just want to say that your chicken strips are. The biggest strips that I've seen. <laughs> like, it looks like a chicken steak. Uh, yeah? The chicken steak is like much bigger. Okay, okay. You're the Speaking expert, not steak. me. But it is smelling amazing. That's because we are amazing. Yeah. yeah. I just want to know is the chicken going to be completely cooked and then added to the sauce? Completely cooked and then we add it to the pasta. And then we add it to the pasta. Okay, so okay. it's a big roll for the pasta. And do you think that your extra time helped you? Definitely. Think it did, yeah. Definitely. Oh, well, liquor. Okay, I'm gonna go see my golden chefs. Chicken is rich in minerals that helps keep our bones in mint condition. 
Okay. Oh, so explain to me what you've done over here, Rido. Okay. I have added my fish oil mm -hmm. with my ginger. So, so it's just fish oil and ginger? Yes. Okay, and then what goes in next? Now I'm just going to go over to my butter quickly. Okay, so you move into the butter. Yes. Okay, I really want to see this butter, butter, so please show okay. me. I'm going to add in my butter. So remember you mentioned that this was unsalted butter, hey? Yes. Okay, and can, can you tell me why unsalted butter? The taste from the gozahela yeah. and the unsalted butter goes together. But when there's salt in, it's going to taste a little bit salty. Okay, so there's, the because cheese the itself is salty, okay, yes. so you don't want... Okay, so no, that's no very smart. to be salty. That's very smart. If ever you are doing this at home and you're using a saltier cheese, always remember to under-season your food simply because when adding that cheese in, it's going to add in extra salt, which can't be taken you out. You don't want in, so just mash it together. Just okay, so you're just mixing the gorgonzola cheese yep. with the butter. With your butter, yep, and add a little bit of milk. Oh, we're adding milk? Yes, full I've milk. never done that before. Cheese is mainly made up of milk. While cow's milk is most common, you can also make cheese from goat, buffalo, and sheep's milk. So what else goes in? My thyme that I'm going to take off. But brother, you are I'm completely extra with all these things. It. Okay, so you can add in herbs as well. Yes. Stunning. Okay, Rida, you carry on. I'm gonna go see how my flames are doing. Ooh! Smoke. I'm gonna call you smoke queens, not flame queens. <laughs> So, is the onions being fried off just dry or have we put in any oil? Okay, just as is. With butter. With butter. Okay, you look quite confident. I just want to see what Rida is doing with that butter. Rida, my man, are we winning with this butter? Yep. We're almost done. Okay, so what have we added in? I've added my gozahela, my butter, uh -huh. my little fish oil, that's all. Okay, that's it. So now we're adding in the thyme. Yep. And my assistant chef, are you yes. okay, my assistant chef? Yes, okay. You're quite fine? Yes. So you are cutting up the potatoes for the mash, hey? Yes. Okay, and what is going inside the mash? We will add some vanilla. Uh-huh. Yes. We will add um, vanilla. Some vanilla? Yes. Like what we use to bake cakes? Yes. In your mash? Guys, so interesting. So is your water like boiling? For your mash? Yes. So once the, it's boiled, you're obviously going to drain it? Yes. And then mash it? Yes. Okay. And add some vanilla on. And add your vanilla in it. it? Yes. Okay. So always remember when making mash, a trick that I always do is once your potatoes have been cooked, to place them into a colander, obviously to drain away that excess moisture. And then I always place that colander back into the pot so that it steams and it removes that excess moisture. Flame Queens, how are we yes. going? Yes, doing are we very good? well. So we've added in green peppers yes. and the onions yes. and the mushrooms. Okay, we so what's our next step then? We're gonna throw in the pasta. So is your pasta cooked? Yes, Have we checked? finally. So we've added some butter into that pan now. Okay, cool. Well, Flame Queens, you seem like you're on the ball here. Yes. Golden chefies, are we fine? Yes. We're still good? Yes. And that herb that you're chopping there, so that's some parsley? This is parsley. Okay, so you're adding that to the butter to as well? To the butter. Okay. And you, my sunshine, can I maybe ask that you use a wooden spoon to do that? Flame Queens, are we still good? Yes. So we've tasted the pasta now. It is tasting very butter. Why? Because they had no spicy. I think the water was under season. Yeah. Is our chicken, our chicken's done? Our chicken is done, yes. Okay. So when are we adding in our tomato puree? Oh, now, now. Cheflets, are we good? We're good. Whoa, 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 pause, my guy. So what happened here? Okay, I've just put my butter in. So this is the butter, this entire yes. mixture. So we're putting it in cling, in cling wrap, why? So I can pull that bit stuff. Because I need to cut it. It's going to be on the fillet. So we're going to put that in the freezer? Yeah. Cool. While he goes and he puts his butter into the freezer, I think it's time for an ad break. It's smelling amazing. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Welcome back guys. If you have just joined us, our cook-off is halfway through and our cheflets are on it like no other. The smells are absolutely amazing. Golden chefs, are we good still? Yes. yes so explain to me what we're doing now. Okay, I'm just putting on a little bit of the mandarin sauce. So, that so this is just oil? Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Do you think that it's time to call it the chef yet? Yep, or? it's time for it to It is? Yeah. Well then, my honey pie, can I ask you to come and unlock with me? Yeah. There you go. Let's unlock the chef. Chef Aisha. Hi. You have been summoned. I believe so. And where am I going? So you're with the golden chefs over on that side. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. And what will I be doing for you today? I'm going to take the mandarin sauce. This is mandarin and we've got some spring onions. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells amazing, it Aisha. It does. And we've got chicken and lots of things going on. So you want me to make your sauce for you if I'm assuming that's what we're going with this? Yep. Okay, so this has been cooled down significantly, I hope. Because we do not want to blend warm liquids. Are you? Completely. Yep. So let's just very carefully try and get this in. Here we go. Short goal problems. Mm, it's the story of my life. Let's just make sure we've got no dipping. So do you want all of your juice in or just all of, all of it? Okay, cool. And is that just plain orange juice? Uh, plain orange yes, juice? Plain yes, orange. it is. Okay. Take that off. So our next step here is then to... They are now going to pass this through a sieve, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Thank you. So chefs, I see we've put the chicken in. It's... I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, so explain to me what we're doing over there, because that looks interesting. We are putting the double cream into the mushroom sauce. So you're putting the double cream into... Okay. I mean, so, yeah. so, so why are we using double cream? Make it more rich. Make and creamier. Rich. Put creamier. in. Put in, she says, yo. That's why she's here. She's very bossy. So are we happy with the sauce? Yes. It's coming on very nicely. And is our chicken done? I think yep. so, yes. Samira? It's off there, no? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's off. Don't worry. I like it. Golden Chefs, how are we doing? Chef Aisha, are we still fine? I'm still fine. I'm just helping them get the mushrooms finely sliced here okay. quickly. Thank you, Chef. Can we Good put luck. you back? Thank you. Thank you very much, Chef Aisha. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. Bye. Right, Golden Chefs. Ooh, we are smoking in the kitchen. Talk me through what you're doing here, Rida. Okay, I'm just... I just turned my chicken out. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's interesting. Go, uh, Why have we put the rosemary okay. on the grill pan? Just to infuse the chicken. Okay. So better taste. Excellent. Honey pie, are we doing the mash? Yes. And are you winning? Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. I see. Okay. So have we added in the vanilla already? Yes. Ooh, that smells good. So what else goes inside the mash? Some milk. Some milk? Yes. And then obviously butter. some... Ah, I like it. Butter and then obviously just your normal salt and pepper. Thank you very much, Golden Chefs. <laughs> are we winning? Yes, we are. Have you? Is there maybe like a clean spoon that I can taste? I just want to taste your sauce, man. <laughs> you just taste the sauce. Mm hmm. Mm. Love mushrooms. And that's really good. Thank I'm you. impressed. Okay, Miro. Now what? Chicken in the pan, cheese in the pan. No. Pasta in the pan. Chicken in the pan. Chicken and pasta. Pate in the pan. And pasta. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put in you. Bring the pasta over here, please. You throw it in, girl. Just throw it. <laughs> you throw it in, girl. <laughs> Golden chefs, are we good? Oh, wait. Ooh, we got some flames over here. So, my dear, mash is finished, vanilla's in, yes, butter's in, yes. everything's in. So, yes. mash is done. Yes, you're just making it smooth now. You're just making it nice and smooth. I like it. Okay, well, we've got five minutes. I need as much action as possible. Flame Queens, five minutes. Do you think we're gonna make it in time? Obviously. Okay, obviously. 
popular Gouda cheese is named after the city Gouda in the Netherlands. Right, food's going on plates. Smells amazing, looks amazing. Wow, guys. Are we happy? Yes. We still think we're gonna win? Yes. Okay, yes. Right, I've got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Chef, step away from your stations. Hands down. Lovely stuff. Your food looks absolutely amazing. So, Chef Litz, these are our previous season's contestants. This is Aziza and Nadira. Hello. So, these are the Flame Queens. Hello, Flame Queens. And over here, we've got the Golden Chefs. Okay, Golden Chefs, do you just want to explain to Aziza and Nadira what you've put down for them? We've put down a chicken fillet mm, with mandarin nice. sauce, her butter, and mushrooms on the side. It looks lovely. So, judges, I just want to remind you that cheese was our secret ingredient for the day. There we go. Taste away Taste. as you are tasting. And what am I getting out of here? Mm. I just hear, mm. It's mm. really, it's, it's really good. good. It's, it's good. good. Happy. Yes. Wow, thank happy. you, Golden Chefs. Excellent. I think let's go over to our Flame Queens over Hello, here. Hello, Flame Queens. Hi. Right, so just explain to our judges what you've prepared for today. Um, we have some pasta with chicken, with some mushroom sauce and cheese on the top. Mm. Okay. Mm. Delicious. Nice. And your chicken. I'll okay. give that to you. Mm. Can I? And still nervous? Yes. Hey, still nervous? Oh, huh? let's see what they think. And? It's really good. Yes. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Is it? Really tough. Yes. So it's kind of neck and neck from your side. So now remember, judges, that we are judging them on taste, creativity, and presentation. Huh? Don't look so nervous. Golden Chefs, are we fine? I'm hey? No, no. I'll make you nervous. Oh, don't lie. <laughs> Quite tough. Well, judges, thank you. There you go. I assume that we've got a winner from this. Guys, Chefs, you all were absolutely amazing. However, we can only have one winner. So, today's yummy champion is none other than... Sorry, I'm going to take a quick phone call. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 sorry, sorry. The winner today and our yummy champion is... Golden Chefs! Well done, guys, well done. Guys, it's been an absolutely amazing show. Mm -hmm. Chef, always always a pleasure working with you. I love it. Judges, I want to say thank you Pleasure. for being Pleasure. available and for giving in your critique <laughs> as judges. <laughs> to you at home, we'll be back, same place, same time, here in the Yummy Kitchen for another hot and happening episode. Please check out these recipes, try it out, adding something different, upload your pics, because we want to interact with you. From me, your host Chad, Chef Aisha, oh, wow. our lovely judges, and the amazing Yummy team, it's a goodbye from us. Bye! Bye.